So what if I'm not shaped like that? This macronutrient distribution is appropriate for this person. Now, somebody that has this body shape called an ectomorph, this may be a good starting point, but we're likely gonna have to feed this person differently than we feed this person. The cupped hand size of carbs. Guys, three, ladies, 1.5 at every single meal. Guys, one, ladies, 0.5. Now if I'm this body shape, it's an even different macronutrient split. Reverse that, reverse that. I'm gonna take the three back down to one, but I'm gonna give them three thumbs of fat. I'm gonna take the 1.5 for the ladies and make it 0.5 and take the 0.5 down or up to 1.5. So many of you guys may be thinking, doesn't make sense to me. Fat is more calorically dense. Why would I feed that person that is large more fat? Because that person's body is much less sens sensitive to insulin. They are much more carb sensitive, intolerant, if you will, okay? So when that person has carbs, they're going to experience weight gain, storage. When we increase their fat though, we're still giving them the same amount of energy, but we're teaching their body to utilize fat as a fuel source.